bridge marketing. Bridge marketing for your Shopify products. You guys, um, let me just sit down and chat with you guys. Let's sit down on the orange couch for this one. I'm, I'm going to look orange off of this slide. Okay. Bridge marketing for your Shopify products. What this means is that your product, you might think that you have an audience for your product, okay? Well, you might have a much bigger audience than you think that you have, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to focus on a concept called bridge marketing. Bridge the gap between your product and the audience that you can potentially sell to. Um, let me give you a great example of this. Let's say that you are in the survival niche. Let's say that you're selling products that are survival, okay? So let's say like you're targeting, let's say that you have like um, a credit card knife, okay? Let me see if I can pull one out. I don't have one on me, but I'll, I'll show you. I'll actually show you on the computer in just a second. Let me pull it out. So um, here's my wallet, okay? Here's my wallet, little wallet like this, right? Here's my wallet, okay? So you see how it's got these little slots, okay? Only things this thin can, can slip in there, right? Well, there is actually a product um, on the web that is a credit card size, but it's actually a knife. It actually can fold apart and turn into an actual knife, kind of folds into like a diamond-shaped knife, right? Now, why is this good? Well, you might need to cut something. You might need to cut some rope. You might need to cut something. So the idea is like there's this product called a credit card knife. I'm going to sh show with you the theory, and then I'll jump in, and I'll actually show you this product. So let's say that you have a credit card knife and you want to sell this knife. Um, let's, do, let's do a hyperactive, actually, let's do it all together. You want to sell this credit card knife, okay? First, let's pull it up and we're going to do this together. You guys are all going to participate in real time if you guys are watching live right now. Okay, so what you do is AliExpress and you would type in, let's just type in credit card, credit card knife. Okay. So there's these credit card knives. Now those are, um, those are folding knives. That's not what we want. That's a knife. They're, these are not what we want. There's actually a knife that can kind of like fold up into the size of a credit card. Like more like this right here. Okay, there we go. So this right here, it only costs 92 cents. Okay, 92 cents. And um, it has e-packet shipping. So we choose that and press OK. Then our price is right here. $2.38 is what it costs for this. Now, let's look at the pictures of this thing. So that's uh, basically, look at how thin this is. It's like a little thing that can fit in your wallet. And it basically folds up like that. And there it is right there. That's how big it ends up being. And it looks pretty, looks pretty slick. So there's a little credit card gift, right? And our cost is $2.38. So you can give it away for free and just charge $9.95 for shipping and handling and you would make about a uh, little over $7 uh, on the difference. You'd make about $7 for every single one of these you gave away for free. Give it away for free, they just pay for shipping and handling, you make about $7. Or maybe you, you charge less for shipping and handling, like $7.95, okay? In which case, maybe you make like a little over $5 in profit. Okay, so there's your product. So let's, let's go in real time right now. So there's your product. Now, now that you know what it looks like, here we go, I am going to, um, um, and I'm going to basically look at the comments right now, and you guys are going to start to tell me what audiences on Facebook might be interested in this. And I'll kick it off, and I'll give you like what, what group of people might be interested in this credit card knife. And of course, there's going to be some that are very broad, some very, very specific. So type in the comments in real time, what groups of people. Now, I'm going to start it off, and I'm going to give you one very generic one. People that are interested in camping. People that are interested in camping might be interested in this knife because um, people that are out camping might need a knife, right? So now it's your turn. People that are interested in camping might need this, okay? Latoya says hunting. Andy says travelers. Dan says a prepper, somebody who's like a, kind of like a doomsday prepper who wants to, you know, do stuff like that. Sergio says people that are in the survival niche. Cornelius says outdoor. Nadia says outdoor. Survivalists, keep it coming. And now what we're going to do is we're starting broad. Hunters, keep it coming. Hunters, survivalists, fishermen, people that are interested in fishing, Boy Scouts, people that are interested in Boy Scouts, camping, keep it coming. Now, I'm going to challenge you guys, get more creative. Get more creative. Okay, not more broad, get more specific. So Carrie says, hiking, there we go. Now you're getting creative. Someone who's out hiking, think, think about it like this. What type of person would need, might need a knife sometimes? Okay, hiking, hunting, fishing, fly fishing. Now you're starting to get creative. Not only fishing, 
but a type of fishing, fly fishing. David says women self-defense. Gigi says army, okay? Um, John says anyone that needs a knife on the spot. Oh, what's up, John? We haven't seen each other in a long time. Anyone who needs a knife on the spot. Yes, that could be anybody, but try to get specific. With Facebook, you can't just target like anybody. You gotta get more specific. Military, bar barbers, people in construction, army. Okay, running. Now what I want you to do is I want you guys to give me creative ideas. Maybe tell me a very creative idea. Somebody interested in packaging, cops, maintenance men. Start getting creative. Get creative, get creative. Think outside of the box. Mountain climbers. Start thinking outside, backpackers. People interested in outdoor gear firefighters. Okay, keep going. You guys, get more creative. Just get more creative, more creative, more creative. Get as creative as you can. Types of fishing. So not just fishing, types of fishing. People interested in do it yourself. That's, that's very creative. DIY, do it yourself. Okay? Backpackers, people interested in carving. People interested in bear grills. Okay, now you're starting to get creative. People that are interested in a celebrity that does outdoor stuff. Protection, people interested in self-defense. Mountaineers, electricians, people that work in the warehouse industry, people that go out jogging. Okay, keep now get, get more creative. Okay, how about this? Let, let, me, let me spark your ideas right now. Okay, the Bear Grylls thing is a good idea. Right now, tell me some TV shows that people watch that have to do with hunting or fishing or camping or outdoors. Tell me some TV shows, okay? Brainstorm TV shows of people, people that watch these TV shows might be very interested in this, in this product. RV industry, warehouse people, warehouse packaging, joggers. Okay, the comments are probably catching up. Show me some TV shows or maybe some movies or maybe some celebrities like Bear Grylls. What are the names of some popular celebrities, some popular TV shows, some popular movies? How about some popular brands? If, if somebody's interested in this brand, they're definitely interested in this. Are there brands of knives? Are there knife companies? Um, people are interested in maybe gun brands? Okay, Jesus says, Walking Dead. Perfect example. People that are interested in the Walking Dead TV show would be interested in survival-related stuff, would be interested in the credit card knife. Swamp people, Walking Dead, real estate flippers, circus people, circus guys, Survivor. People are interested in the show Survivor. Keep going. Have fun, you guys. This is, this is a quality thing. People are interested in the movie Rambo. See how this is coming to you? You're looking at a simple product, bikers, people interested in biking, Boy Scouts, keep, keep going. You, the, the point of this, okay, listen, mountain men, the point of this is you can drill down. You can say, okay, people are interested in fishing, might want to have a credit card knife on them. Then you start thinking, how deep can we go? People interested in fishing also like this TV show, this actor, this type of movie, these types of brands. And now you can start really, really, really um, getting a big audience. Okay, now, now that you have like, like Smith & Wesson, Smith & Wesson is a gun brand, right? So now that you have this big audience, now what you need to do is you need to learn something called bridge marketing. Bridge marketing is where you take your product, okay, in this case, you take your product and now you talk about why this product is good for that audience. So if you're gonna take this product right here, okay, this product right here, you're just gonna put it on your Shopify site. Okay, you're gonna put it right on your Shopify site. And let's take, let's take how this is good for something. Let's take Harley, Harley Davidson Riders. Okay, so we're gonna take Gigi's tip, Harley Riders. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this product on your site, but you're not gonna mention anything about Harley Riders, nothing, okay? You're not gonna mention a single thing. You're just gonna mention this product. You're gonna say we're giving it away free, plus only pay $7.95 shipping and handling. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your blog you're gonna go right over here to your blog. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna write a blog post. You're gonna say, the perfect gift for Harley Davidson riders, the credit card knife. Or you, know, um, or you might say something like, is this the perfect gift for Harley Davidson riders, right? So um, let's say like the, just I'm just gonna type it in real quick. The perfect gift for Harley, Sorry, Harley, uh, sorry, I'm typing one-handed. Harley Davidson Riders. And then you put something like the credit 
card knife. Okay. The perfect gift for Harley Davidson riders, the credit card knife. Now, same kind of concept here. Okay? You're going to basically write a blog post all about this credit card knife being good, um, you know, being, being all about it. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to YouTube and you're going to type in the credit card knife, or maybe not the, but credit card knife. Okay? And, there, and then you're going to find like card sharp credit card knife or something like this. You're going to find maybe a video that kind of shows it. Credit card knives, credit card knives. Okay, you're gonna find maybe a video that does a good job um, showcasing it, okay? So then somebody's taking the time. And you know what, you should order one and do it yourself. But somebody's taking the time, maybe you're gonna skip that intro, and it's gonna maybe talk about how it, how it shows up in a little box like that. Let me take off this ad. It's gonna show up in a little box, this person's doing an un unboxing of it, and they're opening it up. Now you might do the same exact thing. Now look, even as I do this, this person that's doing the video, look what they have in the background. Look at this. Canned food, um, camping stuff, okay, and a flag for some sort of stuff. So you start to learn more about the type of people that are interested in stuff. So there's a credit card knife. He talks about how it folds up. You might be able to find a video that basically does like a basic explanation of a credit card knife and how it folds up, okay? So that's, that's really what you're looking for. You're just looking for that kind of a basic video, okay? So that's it. You're looking for a basic video that shows a credit card knife, the credit card light review. Okay, you're gonna put that video here and then you're gonna write an article about why this is great for Harley Davidson riders, okay? You're gonna maybe put pictures of a Harley Davidson uh, bike, okay? So you're gonna maybe go like Google, okay? And you can, um, you can look up pictures of like Harley Davidson. Um, and I'm not telling you to just like steal pictures from other people, but there's gonna be images that for sure you can use. And you're gonna add like images of like Harley Davidson related images. Um, you know, Harley Davidson, let's say perfect gift. Okay, and you might be able to find something here that's got like, you know, um, you know, something like this. The badder you are, the bigger the gift. Shop the perfect gift or something like that. Or, you know, you might, then you're gonna get ideas for other types of Harley Davidson related stuff, like cycling related stuff that you can also put. So you can actually put like five gifts for Harley David, five gifts that, that are perfect for the Harley Davidson rider. And you might find stuff like this. Life is beautiful, ride with you. So now you can actually go in, not only can you find that credit card knife, but you can actually go a little bit further and type like motorcycle, um, you know, ring, let's say. And you can may maybe make it all about like tons of cool stuff. I mean, look at these cool rings, like right here. There's these rings that you can sell right here on your, on, your, uh, on your site, you know? So you can just look at, all, look at all these cool rings. I mean, just tons of stuff you can sell on your site. So one of these rings might be item number two. Item number one might be the credit card knife. Item number two might be one of these rings, you know? Like, look at something like this. Live to ride, ride to live. Okay, live to ride, ride to live, a ring like that. So all I'm saying is you can write the same exact thing. It's called bridge marketing. The perfect, the, you know, you might say uh, seven perfect gifts for Harley Davidson riders. Seven perfect gifts for Harley Davidson riders. Same kind of thing and put it all together. Do you see what I'm saying? This is called bridge marketing. Okay, now Derek is saying you can't sell brand products like Harley Davidson. Actually, yes, you can. You absolutely can. What I just showed you is 100% legal, moral, and ethical. 100% legal, moral, and ethical. So let me explain why so there's no confusion here. I'm not using um, in my products, the products that I'm choosing, I'm not actually choosing products that have Harley Davidson logos on them or that have Harley Davidson uh, branding on them. Did you notice when I did the search on AliExpress, I didn't do Harley Davidson stuff. I didn't do Harley Davidson rings. I did motorcycle rings. And what you're looking for is you're, you're not looking for a ring that says Harley Davidson on it. You're looking for a ring that has a motorcycle on it. You're looking for a chain that has a motorcycle on it. You're looking for things. You, you, can, you can literally sell um, Harley Davidson related products. So what you're doing is your blog post can write about anything. Your blog post, your blog post can literally feature the Harley Davidson um, logo. It can talk all about Harley Davidson. So this is the thing. If you go on Facebook and you start advertising directly to a Harley Davidson product, then it's copyright infringement. But instead, if you are a blogger and you're just reviewing Harley Davidson related products, then that's perfect. So now you're writing an article all about the seven perfect gifts 
for Harley Davidson, uh, people who love Harley Davidson, are the seven perfect gifts for your motorcycle friends. And now what you're doing is you're, you're putting in seven things. And now what you're doing is you're taking things that are very similar, things that Harley Davidson people might like. What might they like? They might like a, a, a ring that says, live to ride, ride to live. They might, like a, they might like a necklace, a chain, a gold chain that has a, that has a picture of a motorcycle on it. They might like a watch that has a picture of a motorcycle on it. They might like, they might like a custom t-shirt, a print-on-demand t-shirt that, that has a slogan on it that's like, you know, ride or die motorcycle riders, whatever. They might like things that don't even have to do with motorcycles, such as credit card knives. So what you're doing is you're essentially finding products that a Harley Davidson audience would like. And now what you're doing is you're writing a blog post all about Harley Davidson stuff. And now you can advertise that blog post directly to fans of the Harley Davidson. Then what you do, it's a little bit more advanced, but then what you do is you retarget all of that traffic, every single person. So you're advertising on Facebook to fans of Harley Davidson, people that love Harley Davidson. You're retargeting all of that traffic. Every single one of those clicks, you're automatically retargeting with direct ads selling those products. That's, that's the thing. It's called bridge marketing. That's how you can take something so simple as a credit card knife and you can sell it to people that are interested in Harley Davidson with some exact verbiage. Now, do the same thing. Say, sell the same credit card knife. So you have one post, one product, a credit card knife that you're giving away for free. Very, very simple. One post, one product. It's free. Just pay for shipping. And now what you do is you can write a blog post selling that product to people who love fishing. And you want, you want to say like, here's five, five tips for fishing. And what you do is you give four tips that you find like off of YouTube or Google. And the fifth tip is always carry a credit card knife with you. Why? Here's, here's why. And then if you don't have a credit card knife, we'll give you one for free. Here you go. You can have this one for free. Now you're providing content to your audience. You're providing value to the world and you're selling your products. Okay. This is, this is, this is just e-commerce 101. This is selling 101. This is called bridge marketing. Okay. This is a concept I've used for years. You can bridge market anything. You can bridge market by going to The Walking Dead. Okay, I can write an entire blog post on my Shopify store all about The Walking Dead. I can write, an, I can write a whole entire blog post all about the, the, my, my review of season six finale of The Walking Dead. Or, you know, maybe make something more, more shocking. Okay, how about this one? Why the finale of season, why the TWD, which stands for The Walking Dead, why the TWD finale for season six is the worst ever. Do you agree? Now I'm, I'm going to make, I'm going to make, then I'm going to take a screenshot and I'm going to type, was this finale the worst ever? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a blog post with a compelling argument as to why this was the worst ever. Then I'm going to post that to a fan page that's fans of the walking dead. And then I'm going to advertise that. And then I'm going to boost that post to fans of the walking dead. Now I'm driving traffic back to my store of loyal fans of the walking dead. And I'm going to open up the comments and people are going to go crazy saying, Oh my God, this person shouldn't have died. This person should have died. They're just going to talk about it. People love to talk. But meanwhile, in that article, I'm going to, I'm going to insert like, like two or three calls to action for this credit card knife. You know, I'm going to say right in the middle of the article, I'm going to say, are you a diehard fan of the walking dead? Uh, or, or not even Walking Dead. I'm going to say, because the, the article is all about The Walking Dead. I'm going to say something along the lines of, um, make, sure you, uh, make sure you are always prepared for an emergency. The credit card knife fits in your, uh, is a credit, it's, a, it's a knife that folds up into the size of a credit card and fits in your wallet. This is the perfect, you might want to have two or three of these yourself and give them away as gifts to your friend, to all your friends. And for a limited time, we're giving away 100 of them for free. Um, click here if you'd like one for free, just pay for shipping and handling. Right in the middle of your blog post, you have a quick little ad, a quick little call to action for the credit card knife. And every single person that clicks from The Walking Dead, you can automatically retarget them with an advertisement directly to that product. Okay? So listen, this is called bridge marketing. Bridge marketing in 2017 is going to make some of you guys $100,000 or more. There's going to be some of you right now that are intermediates. It's going to make you experts. It's going to be, there's going to be some of you that are beginners, and this is going to be the breakthrough you need to finally start selling your first products. Okay? This is called bridge marketing. Don't worry about being an expert right now. Just let it open your mind to the possibilities of what's possible. Okay? Bridge marketing. So, wow. Let's take a breath. Let's take a breather and look what we just covered. Okay, look what we just covered right now. We discovered, number right here, tips to rank your Shopify store in Google. And we covered bridge marketing.